A the right to dream to uh, homeless camp in Old Town. It turns three years old in just a couple of weeks. And despite the city's efforts to move it, it's not going anywhere. Well, the camp is on a prominent piece of real estate at 4th and Burnside, right next to Portland's Chinatown Gate. But it's certainly become a political football with taxpayer money involved in all of this. Ken Boddy follows up to see where that fight stands now. Right to Dream 2 started here on the corner of Northwest 4th and Burnside in October of 2011. They're looking for another place to go, but that's proving to be problematic. Up to 90 homeless people live here, but the wheels are in motion to move the camp away from this prominent piece of real estate. I went to Ibrahim Mubarak, the face of Right to Dream 2, since the beginning. Are you optimistic that the city will be able to find another place for you? I'm, well... They, they'll find another place for us, but probably not in the hub or the social service agencies. In June, the city made a deal with property owner Michael Wright to buy the land for $1.2 million. But the sale can't go through unless the campers are gone. So the Portland Development Commission will pay $10,000 a month to Wright to guarantee he won't sell the property before a new camp is found. PDC wants to see this site developed. The good news is, is where this, this negotiation is right now is that everyone's very serious about finding an alternate home and finding a new location. So I'm hopeful that the city can, can come to some sort of agreement. But it hasn't happened yet. Even though the city got about $800,000 from developers in the upscale Pearl District to keep R2D2 from moving there. Why haven't you been able to find a place? Well, it's a combination of, uh, you know, at times I think trying to get too perfect on the site itself. We knew this would be difficult and it's proving to be so uh, in a hot uh, real estate market. We're going to be here until they sign that contract. <laughs> the PDC's $10,000 monthly payments to write, taxpayer money, are good for 30 months. After that, if the city can't find a suitable location, Wright may have to pay that money back. So if no deal is done, Right to Dream 2 could be here for another two and a half years. The city and organizers of the camp hope that they can come up with an agreement well before then. In Old Town, Ken Boddy, Coin 6 News.